welcome to this tutorial. This is a small canvas board that I have. I have some texture laid down on here. And on here, I'm going to do our ground layer, which is a metallic gold, sort of an antique metallic gold. There are various metallics. Uh, some are more yellow, some have more of a bronze tone. I'm talking about the golds. Some are extremely bright and blingy, and some are a little, have more depth. And then some look like a little more of a, an antique look, antique gold. And that's what this one is. I'm laying a background of this color. Uh, I'm not going to do a full solid background because I do want some white underneath to show through. We're going to build our layers on top of this. And working with metallics does leave brush strokes, so I kind of want to make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm just using a little water on a flat brush. Let this dry, come back and build on it. Okay, our gold has dried completely. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take, this is a cadmium orange. Again, you can use any colors you like. A little bit of water on my painting. Take a little orange like this. I have a little water on my brush. I'm going to add a little bit of a light cadmium red. Just to give it a little more depth. These are very similar colors actually. A little cadmium red. They're almost the same practically. And I'm going to bring this on my painting. I don't want it like a full on layer of paint. This is going to sort of affect a, a sunset and as a sunset doesn't have a full on color, it has multiple colors, we're going to get that with layering this paint on and sort of a almost like a patchy so the other colors can shine through. This is going to be one of our base colors for light. There. So again another sort of patchy layer of paint and I'm dragging my brush through it just to sort of um, affect that sort of drippy pattern smoothing it back and forth. I definitely want this color to show through as a under color without being to 100% so you can see kind of how that looks. Um, we'll let that dry and I'm going to come back and add some other colors on top of that. Okay, that's kind of dried. Uh, I took a blow dryer to it so it's not a super dry layer, but that's okay. The next layer that I want to do is some yellow, bright yellow. And I still just have a little orange on my brush and add a little water to it and just kind of use my brush to lay this down in the center. Again, not a perfect layer by any means. If you look at a sunset 
and I look at a lot of them. I really like Sunset. They are streaky and brilliant and dark in some spots and pink and yellow and gold in some spots and although I'm not creating realism here, this is not realism art, this will give you that effect. And that's just what this is, just technique effect. Use your own colors, your own eye, of course. All right, so I've laid some pretty brilliant yellow that's gonna come through there in our painting. So you can kind of see, that's definitely getting that sort of brilliant sunset effect. I'm gonna let that coat dry really well before we come back and lay other colors on top of that. All right, this has completely dried. So what we're gonna do now is I've taken a little bit of a teal turquoise color. You can mix your own. A little light blue, again, you can mix your own if you don't have them, on my palette. I'm gonna mix those together. And I'm gonna add just a little white. And I'm gonna go around the edges with this. Like so. Again, this is just a dry canvas. I'm actually not um, adding water or anything else. I want a fairly intense color here. Just working with a small brush since I'm working on a small canvas. Again, you can take this to a larger canvas, this technique or look, if, if you wanted. This is the area that we didn't cover before with paint. Just pop a couple areas of white on here to lighten it. And I'm moving around the edges here. This is some, sometimes a good way to introduce another color when you don't want it full on in your artwork. You can introduce it somewhat around the edges or in just a, a smaller space like this. So I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come over it with a top color. I'm going to pick up quickly pick up some of this on my texture if you can see that's just coming through there all right let it dry and we'll come back and finish it off okay this has dried it has not fully cured overnight but it is dry enough that we can come back and, and uh, work on this you can let yours completely dry uh, for this layer, I'm working with, again with my Antique Gold. Any brand you like is fine. Any type of gold or bronze or you can mix your own. With a flat brush, I'm using also just a little titanium white. I'll put that in my palette. Just a little bit of that. So I'm going to pick that up. And I'm just going to add some highlights of that, just for lightness. I find if you don't add some lightness and white, you kind of end up with a muddy effect. So just a little light here and there. And I'm going to take a damp paper towel, blot that up just enough where I'm just leaving some of the light behind. I don't really want white, white, I just want light. Okay. So now I'm working with my gold and working uh, flat. I'm gonna run that over my, my canvas. And 
my colors. So picking up on the texture is that gold over the blue. Picking up over my center texture and my sides. It's got a little milky, which sometimes will happen when you're working with white, like a titanium white. Sometimes it creates sort of a chalky white. There's another white you can use just for lightening that I probably should have used. It's called zinc white. That doesn't really leave white, it just lightens. But now you can see that happens. So now I'm going to go over this. I don't like how that came out. So, process of removal. There, that's better. The blue is a little more vivid now. I'm going to drop a little more of my gold into my palette and work some larger bits of it on my brush into the painting. So I've got some movement up here with the paint. I've got the texture down here. Again, removing a little of that. I keep covering the area. <laughs> there. That way, it's, it's not too milky looking. Okay, now what I'm doing is taking the opposite side of my brush, I'm laying it over the white, just for a little bit, and I'm going to go over the center area of my, my painting, just to highlight that a bit, and just to bring that out. wiping any areas that I don't want. Okay, so it's about finished. I've got my blue rim, my gold over layer, my gold underneath layer with a little bit of the orange and the yellow that we used. And this is just a technique to show you how you can layer from underneath and not worry about if you're using a super bright color like the orange or something, it can be uh, far more subtle than what you maybe thought it could be. So I'm gonna finesse this just a little bit, but I think it's pretty much done. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Please sign up for some of my other tutorials and uh, my free mini masterclass at 101artist.com. And I really appreciate you watching.